Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Liu, uh, sales manager of Shanghai Cleric. Today I am very happy to introduce our machine to all of you. Firstly, let's check. You know, the whole line of this machine we call HGM80 Micro Powder Grand Meal. Uh, there are also many different names from many different customers, like the Ultra Fine Meal, Super Fine Meal, the Grander, many. Uh, but uh, the working principle and the thing is the same. Okay, now let me show you the every parts. The first part is the crushing section, the crusher. Normally, we will use a hammer crusher. If, if the feeding size is smaller than 300 mm, then we will uh, use a hammer crusher will be okay. It will crush the material to be less than, uh, smaller than 20 mm. This size is very suitable for our meal. If the size of stone is very big, uh, more than 300 mm, then we suggest to match another jaw crusher. Okay. The second part is a bucket elevator. It will convey the crushed material to a small hopper. Okay, the hopper normally we suggest made in local, depends on customer's demands. Then we will use a skirt bed conveyor to convey the powder to our meal. Uh, this conveyor, the uh, conveying speed is very high and also very stable, matched with our grinding meal. The working principle, the working performance is very stable. Okay, now this is our key parts, the main units. Uh, this design is different with the traditional Raymond meal. Uh, we have different layers. Uh, many layers. We have three layers to four layers. When the material go fit inside our meal, it will be crushed to be the sand or the coarse powder. And then the powder will fall down to the second layer, third layer, and fourth layer for grinding. Until it reached uh, the required size, it will go go up to the uh, classifier, passing through it, and then go inside the uh, back filter. This back filter is used to collect the finished powder. So some customer wondering how to adjust the uh, powder size. Normally we adjust the size by adjusting the classifier running speed. We can adjust it easily from our electric cabinet. Uh, for example, like 2000 mesh, we will set the data to uh, set the classifier running speed to, to 2000 RPM. So when the powder reached this size, it will go inside, uh, pass through the classifier. But uh, it, when it's coarse powder like the 300 mesh, it cannot go uh, pass through the classifier. It will fall down again for grinding again. Okay, and then you can see that is uh, electric cabinets. For electric cabinets, we have many types like the driving way, uh, like the controlling way. We can choose a PLC control or the traditional standard control. Uh, the PLC control can make the one key start and one key stop, um, which make the fulfill line working automatically and very work, very smoothly. We also suggest the customer choose different inverter. For inverter, normally we choose a standard. Uh, our standard uh, brand is a Tida from Taiwan brand. Another is uh, another is uh, ABB. For our electric drives, we have the CHINT. This brand is very famous in China. Also, we can choose some international brand like the Siemens and ABB. Okay, and uh, let's see the back filter. Our back filter is puzzle type. Uh, puzzle type separate offline we said offline uh, this model actually we have uh, changed for many times it can now it can match the environmental policy uh, envir environment policy from the USA and uh, other European countries uh, so for this whole line uh, this machine the advantages is it can easy to adjust the output size uh, and also it can make the ultra fine size. So this is uh, the main uh, the main advantages. Also, the lifetime of the wearing parts is very long. Our wearing parts, the inside the mill uh, contains uh, uh, includes like the roller, ring, template, and shaft pin. Uh, we have uh, two type of material like the olive steel. This is a standard one. Uh, this material is has high toughness and the lower hardness. Uh, it's very suitable for like the uh, most hardness, less than six, like the calcium carbonate. For this material grinding, it can the lifetime of spare parts can be two to four years, even longer. 
uh, wire when the material is uh, the most hardness more than six we will choose the bearing steel this material is very hard the HRC can reach 58 it has lower toughness but very high hardness so for these two type of uh, uh, material there is no better or only has more suitable so it depends on the customers demands okay that's all